Uh, it's going to be a good one. <laughs> What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of the Drop It Down with Mr. Duga. <laughs> and today, I'm going to take a look ahead to Sunday's NFC wildcard matchup as you have the Minnesota Vikings hosting the New York Giants. Um, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, so feel free to DM me. Whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holla at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden player on Xbox One, I'll have my Xbox One gamer tag in the description box also. Um, first, looking off, looking at the New York Giants division opponent. Um, last week, you could throw that game out, man. Um, they didn't really play none of their players against my Eagles. And to their credit, they actually fought us really well, man, with Davis Ware about that. Um, but, you know, this team, but looking at the team overall, um, I must say, man, it's somebody who I've made fun of in the past for tripping over his own feet and stuff of that nature. But Daniel Jones has actually played really well as, as of late, yo, for the um, for the New York Giants. He's actually been a pretty good quarterback, um, running and throwing. Um, Saquon Barkley is back healthy, um, one of the most explosive running backs in the league when healthy, which he's been. Um, and they got a cast of really young, unproven receivers like um, like Darius Slayton, Hodgins, James, you know, um, guys like that, um, and a tight, a young tight end in Billinger, um, and an offensive line who has gotten better as the year has went along. Um, defensively, you know, they they do got a nice front with um, you know, Dexter Lawrence and Kavon Thibodeau, who the rookie who's really really coming on um and, and some guys on the back end you know um lsu tiger rookie cardell flat um they brought landon collins got a second stint with them um you know got jordan love and they like that um i really call it mostly the no-name defense but they do got a good scheme they blitz more than anybody in the nfl and um they made it to this point man um and I do think Brian Dable is a very, very good head coach. I think it's the best head coach by far that they've had, they've had since Tom Coughlin. Um, and, you know, their team, once they get even more and more talent, you would think they're going to be better with this coaching staff. Um, looking at the Minnesota Vikings, um, last week they beat the Chicago Bears um, to pretty much, you know, lock in on the three seed. They played because they had a shot at the two seed, but the 49ers won, of course. Um, they played, they started for about half of the game or a little more than half of the game. Um, Jefferson did his thing. Um, Osborne Cook um, got banged up, but he was able to come back in. Um, you know, but overall, man, um, Kirk Cousins at quarterback uh, has actually had a good uh, a Pro Bowl year, um, been a good player this year. We all get on him for his times coming up small in the clutch, but They've actually won more close games than, than anybody. And now, look, when the Vikings lose, they lose. <laughs> like, they get beat down. But they win a lot of one-possession games, which got them to this point. Um, Dalvin Cook, as we know, is, is ultra-talented. Um, they, they got a nice um, plethora of weapons. Justin Jefferson is arguably another LSU guy. Arguably the best receiver in all of football this year. Um, just a big time player. Um, constantly making plays out there. Um, TJ Hawkinson, a Pro Bowl tight end, has been a nice addition midseason for them. Um, Thielen is, didn't quite put up the type of numbers he's used to putting up, but he's still a threat out there. And Osborne is, is a receiver who's developed really nicely to a real viable option. And, uh, defensively, you know, um, Darius Smith, um, you know, uh, at that brushing the passes, another LSU tight. They got a lot of LSU tigers of Minnesota. Daniel Hunter. Um, and then, you know, in that back end, man, Patrick Peterson, of course, and, uh, Harrison Smith, guys like that, you know, um, which got them to this point. Um, these teams actually met on Christmas Eve in Minnesota, by the way, which was a very, very good football game where, both quarterbacks just went up and down the field. Um, both teams came up with, with big turnovers. Um, Daniel Jones was, was really good. Um, Kirk Cousins 
Justin Jefferson had a big time performance. Osborne made some plays. Um, and then at the end, all in all, you know, the Giants tied the game up at the end, but then the, uh, the Vikings got in range, and Joseph kicks a 61-yard field goal to beat the Giants. It ain't the first time the Giants went down to 61-yard field goal, as Jake Elliott got him like that a few years ago. Um, it, but basically, it was an instant classic game between two teams that was very evenly matched, yo. Um, looking at this matchup, whenever you talk about the Vikings offense going up against the Giants defense, uh, get Justin Jefferson the ball by all means necessary. Feed him the ball, feed him the ball, feed him the ball, and I feel like the Vikings going to have a chance to be successful. Um, and for the Giants, put pressure on Kirk Cousins. Um, once you get pressure on him early, it kind of sets the tone for him the rest of the day, and he don't really play as well. Um, when the New York Giants got the ball going up against the Vikings defense, run the ball, man. Protect the ball. Um, Daniel Jones and Saquon Barkley could run the ball pretty effectively on them. And for the Minnesota Vikings, get pressure on, on Daniel Jones, yo. On third, third, get him in the third down in long passing situations and come at him and get him to the ground with nice pressure packages, yo. Um, as far as my prediction for this game, man, I'm, I'm kind of struggling with, I went back and forth with this one a little bit, but I'm going to be honest, man, um, though they're a division opponent, I think the Giants get this one. I think the Giants go to Minnesota and I think they pull out a really good football game on the road and I think the Giants going to come to Philly to see, the, see my Eagles next week, yo. I think the Giants go to Minnesota and get the upset and come to Philly next weekend. Um, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I have Philadelphia Eagles, NFL, and content of my other teams throughout the year. Y'all have a blessed one. Fly, Eagles, fly.